Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Lifestand Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and we all know what happens on Thursday. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on this week. Well, you'll be very excited to be getting your hands on this. This, you're wondering, what the hell is that? Well, this is actually a laser antenna. Now, it does a lot of the things that a standard antenna does, but it does them on a line-of-sight, laser-to-laser sort of basis, and I'll show you a little of that right now. So let's go into the control panel here, and we'll press K. Now, we're going to go onto here, and we're going to make sure that we own the laser control panel. And if you look at this option here, we have copy my coordinates, idle, copy target coordinates, and paste. So this is basically how we connect up. So the first thing we want to do is paste the coordinates that we've got set but we're going to have to copy some from one of these antennas around us. So let's pick this nice blue one over here. We head over here once again. We access the control panel, pressing K. And once we've pressed K, we can copy my coordinates. So that's going to actually copy the coordinates of that. So we should be able to connect up the two units now. And this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. So we go back and we paste the coordinates in and we press connect to. So you can see how that unit's rotated to that and it's seeking connection. And once it's got the connection, they both connect up and they can actually share data between the two platforms. You can control things that are happening on that platform with this one. And I'll show you the different connection sort of settings. So I've set up a number of them behind us here. So we've got red, so if the actual system's damaged or not working, this is how it'll display with a little red light at the top. Now, if it's just idle and not connected to anything, we've got a green light if it's connected to something. You'll notice how it's connected here, and it's a nice blue light. If I break the connection by flying in between it, if I can, you'll see it turns to yellow as it's seeking connection like this one is here. Now let's try and have a look at some different ways of connecting these bad boys up. Now, there's a number of different sort of connection methods. We've already done static to static connection that can be resumed at any time. So for instance, if we go to this control panel, we press K and we lose the connection, so we set it to idle, you'll notice how the unit is reset back to the front position. We can actually have that stored in the lower part here, so we can actually connect to the coordinates that have been rehearsed. And any known receivers, so anything that it actually has range of before, will be listed in here so we can connect to them known receivers like so. Very interesting, very cool indeed. Let's try connecting to this rotating platform that we've got below. So first off, we need to grab its coordinates on this stick. So we then actually find it, laser, copy my coordinates. So we've copied the coordinates of that rotating one, and we're gonna copy it into the system up above. So by pressing K and laser coordinates, paste coordinates, you can see how the coordinates have changed, and we can connect to them coordinates. So this, should be trying to track onto the position. It might take one or two seconds because what it's actually doing is getting the coordinates as it is at that very position and it's waiting for the unit to come past so it can scan it. So it's just managed to actually establish connection with that rotating one there at the moment. And as you can see, it's trying to track onto it, but it's losing the connection as it's moving due to the angle that it's actually at. And it's managing to establish the connection quite some time. So as you can see, as it rotates, it loses connection at some point, maybe due to the speed of that it's rotating. You can see there's a little bit of stutter going on here, but we're at the very early stages of this laser antenna at the moment. And it was working absolutely smooth before. Just seems to be having a little bit of a problem at the moment. So if we go to our control panel and we access that and we click on that and we connect to that receiver, we should be able to track that a lot more smoother at this moment in time. It seems like we're still establishing connection quite a lot. Nine out of 10 times the connection is being established and it's relocking onto its target coordinates. So the next thing I want to show you is remote controlling units. So we've got a Henry Mark 1 drone variant over there and we want to connect him up to the laser antenna. So first off, we're gonna head over to Henry and we're gonna grab his GPS coordinates. So with a K on that menu, we should be able to go in and find the laser block. So laser antenna, copy my coordinates, and grab this and whack this back into the computer on this block here. So here we go, and paste that in. Oh, I pasted it in, but I didn't press connect. So that's always important, so paste coordinates and connect. So that should start establishing connection. Henry's connected, looking for the connection blue light 
all connected up, good to go. So there's another thing that I want to notice about connecting up with drones as well. So if I access this control panel, I can view Henry, but I can't actually remote control him. You can see how it's greyed out, because to remote control Henry, you actually have to have a cockpit at your disposal. So if I press K and go into the cockpit now, I can actually notice that we've got a few different settings, and I can also control Henry fully. So remote control and control and now if we do some flying you'll notice how Henry's little ball turret on the front is tracking onto the target wherever he goes so if I fly around here the ball is going to stay in connection the best it can and we're going to establish two points of connection they're just very nice very cool little system I, I, I'm really I'm wondering what sort of things I'll try to do with this but I guess there will be a few maybe sneaky ways of connecting two points up with these lasers or maybe use them as some sort of tripwire system since the, when the lasers broke you can actually have a few different systems running off that system itself so you can see how the lasers tracking onto Henry let's um, try to get in the first person perspective of Henry's little camera so if we go to the G menu and we drag that to there and we press view on one so we're actually viewing Henry now and we can see how this ball should track us around as we fly around it very cool indeed very simple very effective should we have a look at some of the features now the final feature of this laser antenna as i paste a henry in here is the ability to search manually for these antennas so we have two different ranges as well the large to large has a 40 kilometer range and the smaller ones like this have a 30 kilometer range so something to consider there when you're connecting these up so we're going to go to the little pod at the side we're going to go to gps as you can see, we've got some GPS values, and if we get a new from current position there, and then we copy that to the clipboard, like so, and then we go into our little tab, we fly back to our monitor over here, we should be able to connect it up using these manual settings, rather than going all the way through everything else. So let's just paste in the coordinates and connect up. You can see how it's connected up to that GPS setting there. Henry's little turret on top's locked on, and we're still going to be able to be in control of it very cool so you could use this as like a quick relay to send a message connect back up to base send the message and then disconnect it be a nice interesting way of communicating let's have a look at something else now something else that was quite interesting in this little patch was the addition of modding for turrets and there's also a number of new turret controls this here is a little bit of a mod that's been introduced by thomas one of the developers it's not officially part of the game yet but it's acting as a framework so you can actually build your turrets from it. And I'll show you the new turret settings. So if we hop in here and we go to control, you can actually see that we've got shoot once on the turret now. We've also got shoot on and off. So we can actually just take this and the turret will remain, keep on firing and firing and firing. And if we turn that off, we've got also enable idle movement. So the turret as it rot rotates side to side, like on the Gatlin turrets, casually moving left to right, scanning the targets. We can disable that and that means we can just use it as a turret for when it is actually manned so we can turn that off and it will stay perfectly static and we can also control it like we could before and this turret itself just is a very powerful sort of sniper rifle of a turret very nice very smooth and it's nice to have some more settings for these turrets themselves so after looking at today's patch it has brought some rather exciting things to the table this laser antenna has multiple sorts of uses and I can't wait to find out what you're going to do with it. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.